The iPhone 15 series biggest choke moment is finally here and it confirms Samsung's win. As Apple is fully focused on bringing the fastest smartphone chip ever this year along with USB-C, titanium design with no buttons and perhaps a periscope lens on the iPhone 15 Ultra, the regular models will be proper brokey this year. We have known this for a while but now there is no doubt about this. The display panel production of the iPhone 15 series is going full steam and as you can see by the display that the dynamic island is coming to all iPhones but what's not coming is that basic 120Hz display that you see even on a $300 Android phone. Not even 90Hz is going to be a full on 60Hz display for the iPhone 15 and the 15 Plus. How do you justify this at the price of $8900 when you have Galaxy S23 offering not only 120Hz and extra telephoto lens but also incredible battery life. Samsung fit fixed its biggest problem which was the battery life with the S23 and the S23 Plus and these phones are incredible giving you the features you deserve at this high price point. Forget the S23, even the Galaxy Z Flip 5 this year will have insane battery life thanks to Qualcomm 8 Gen 2 Plus chip which will come later this year and it's gonna be an even more of a nightmare for Apple to sell the iPhone 15 and 15 Plus. They already cried about the poor sales of the iPhone 14 Plus this year which has been worse than the iPhone 13 mini that they had before. For sure, it's going to be a tough year for Apple's non-pro iPhone. No 120Hz in 2023 on a $900 phone. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Now let's take a look at the pro models where Apple is busy bringing some incredible new changes which will make these iPhones premium than ever. Apple is looking to change the design of the iPhone pro models in a way that it will be copied by other brands in the future. According to the recent CAD leaks of the iPhone 15 Pro and the Ultra, Apple is looking to kill all the buttons on the iPhone's design, making it completely pressure sensitive. They will pull this off by adding two taptic engines on the Pro models which will mimic the clicks. We will see some benefits to this like more space inside the phone for a potential bigger battery, improved IP rating for water and dust resistance etc. Of course there will be mixed opinion on this, I personally do like physical keys so so let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Also the iPhone 15 Pro and the Ultra will have exclusive access to the Apple A17 chip which is built on the brand new TSMC 3 nanometer architecture. This will be the first smartphone chip to have 3 nanometer architecture giving Apple an insane boost in performance and efficiency which is going to absolutely destroy the competition. The A17 chip will bring Apple's first proper processor jump since the Apple A15 chip. Now lastly, Apple has selected Sony to bring their latest LiDAR camera on the iPhone 15 Pro lineup. Yes, according to ming this new LiDAR scanner will offer improved performance while taking less power compared to last year's model, making the battery life better than ever. I have no doubt in my mind that the iPhone 15 Ultra model is going to be a record-breaking flagship when it comes to the performance, display brightness, as well as battery life, but at the same time, Apple will disappoint when it comes to the non iPhone 15 Pro models rocking a 60Hz display in 2023 while you have options like Galaxy S23, the S23 Plus and the Z Flip 5 on the market and even the Oppo Find N2 but let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.